Hey what is up guys welcome back to another video today we're going to compare a number of vehicles that can do the speed glitch and we're going to compare how fast they are and see which ones are fastest yeah and that's really the aim of this video so if you don't know how to do the speed glitch I will leave a timestamp right now and show you guys at the end of the video of how to do the speed glitch if you don't know if you do then you can just watch this video see which ones are fastest and maybe beat your friends doing it or just play with it yourself so I hope you guys enjoy the video and hopefully you find it somewhat useful. So just as a template, I'm going to do a speed run in the T20. It's fully customized. I'm just going to show you guys what the T20 gets and then you can compare it to the speed glitch. So first up we've got the Hustler and it only has the front two tyres popped. Second we have the Neuro with just the front two tyres popped. Now we have to Infernus with tyres popped at the front and it also has been lowered at the front but I don't think this makes a difference. On this one we have the 9F that's been lowered at the back and the front two tyres have been popped. On the Zentono, we've got the front two tyres popped and we've lowered it from the rear. On the rat loader, nothing has been done to it. And on the LG Retro, we've lowered it from the rear and popped the front two tyres. On the Imperator, we've only popped the front two tyres.
and the LEG with only popped the front two tires. On the rat loader we've not done anything to the tyres. So now I'm going to show you guys how to actually do the glitch if you don't know how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your car has no bulletproof tires. So when you buy a car, you have the option in LS Customs to put it on bulletproof tires or not. If you put your car on bulletproof tires, then that means you have to buy a new car if you want to do it. Or you can just find another car of yours that has no bulletproof tires. So first step, no bulletproof tires. Um, second step, I would say fully customize your car. So engine upgrades and turbo transmission, make sure everything's done correctly. So once you've done all that, you can head over to the drag strip or air, air strip. And the first thing you want to do is shoot out your front two tires. So just shoot that tire, that tire. Now. As you see, you've got rubber on the front, so you want to make sure that comes off. So just drive around. There we go, it came off. So I'm just going to show you first how to perfect the glitch. So I'll, put, I'll give you a scenario and we'll see what happens. As you see, it does do the glitch, but as you see, there, there you go, it just ends, it stops doing the burnout. And the reason for that is this car has too much grip so the car has too much grip it doesn't wheel spin for that long so you don't get a very high speed so for cars that do that you if you if you want to go and experiment with other cars like uh, the neuro well I already know the neuro works but just any other all-wheel drive car like the Sultan and it stop it grips up that quickly you want to make sure you lower the back so however way you lower your car, just lower the back of the car. And the reason you lower the back of the car because it makes um it makes the wheel slip a bit more from the rear. A lot more actually. So once I get in the car, just do the exact same thing. I know I've not taught you guys how to do it yet, it's just this is just to show you guys for in the future, right? so when you start doing it to other cars you realise why it's not working for you. So now, sorry for drifting, now you'll see it's a lot longer, uh, infinite I think, so on this LG right now it should be infinite no matter how long the strip is, it will keep wheel spinning and that's all because I just lowered the back. So that's why in the video if you've watched it you'll see me say I've lowered the back on this vehicle or I haven't lowered the back. So now you're ready to do the glitch, you pop the front two tires you just want to know now how to do the glitch. So what you're going to want to do is burn out so R2 and L2 and you're going to let go of L2 for half a second and then let back on L2 so let go of L2 back on L2 and that's it just let go of L2 or whatever the equivalent of Xbox is, I think it's left trigger. So left, let go of left trigger and then let back on left trigger, half a second. I'll just do it one more time. I'm holding R2, L2, so left trigger, right trigger. Let go of, let go of left trigger, then go back on left trigger. And that's it, it's that easy. You don't have to lower the back of your car if you've got a neural, for example. And yeah, 
it's really easy hopefully you guys enjoy this glitch i really like doing it when the top speed high speed challenge appears um yeah that's all it is guys so if you do enjoy this video if you did like it at all please make sure you follow me on instagram hellaflush.67 and yeah i hope to see you guys in my next video have a nice day guys